top entre los más reputados analistas de la City de Londres, Ashraf Lady, ha venido al Forex Day en una nueva edición para explicarnos su punto de vista sobre qué está pasando en Reino Unido con el Brexit y también para hablar de estrategias de trading que realmente funcionan. The volatility or the implied volatility of sterling, even though when sterling was falling, you would normally see the volatility or the equivalent of the fear index of sterling or the VIX of sterling would push higher, but it did not push higher. So the fear index of sterling was not rising, even though sterling dollar was falling. So what gives? So that means option traders in the currency market are saying that there is not likely going to be a no deal. I think we may reach 137 and 138. So politically, what is the political event that could likely help sterling go back to eventually 138? We could probably see that even though the candidates for prime minister in the UK, most of them do not mind a no deal, it seems that a deal has to be implemented. And so even probably one of the biggest supporters of, of the Brexit or one of the candidates who is most ready to say no deal, Boris Johnson, the question is, what would happen with him that would lead Sterling to push higher? Would he fail to become prime minister? Will he become prime minister and Europe will say, no, you have to have a deal? Will he reach a compromise? The race for prime minister, Noemi, for the UK, is going to end in July. In August, the Bank of England quarterly inflation report is going to come. So maybe when they come in, they would say, well, there is a good or there is improved dynamic by us. So they may upgrade the, their, uh, their outlook for GDP and for inflation. And there is something else. The City uh, Economic Surprise Index of Economic Surprises shows that the British Pound Economic Surprise Index is at plus 40. Comparing to the Economic Surprise Index of the UK, of the US, is minus 30. For the U for, so, so the economic indicators have been improving for the UK. You may say, but yes, the Economic Surprise Index has been higher because the level of expectations has been low. Yes, you can argue, but at the end of the day, this is the bottom line. Some people may say, oh, now there's a chance for a rate hike. No, we, won't need, we will not need to take it as far as that.